Emily Kristofchek here, and this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use a tool like QuickTime to clip up a video that maybe you've downloaded or maybe you've created and you just want to pull out part of that video. On a Mac, QuickTime is your video editor as well as iMovie, but just for a quick way to clip something up, QuickTime works perfectly. What I have here is just an ocean video I've downloaded from YouTube. You can see here it's 3 minutes and 15 seconds, which is longer than I want to use for my project. And I really only want the first few seconds. So I can take this playhead, put it where I want it, and let's say at about 30 seconds, that's good enough for me. I'm just going to use this as an intro video for an iBook. And then I come up here to my edit tool and I just hit um, split clip. I can also use trim. Either one works just fine. If I do split clip, it's going to split the two clips in half. So now you can see I've got the first 30 seconds and then the rest of the video. I can select the rest of the video and hit delete and it'll go away. I'm going to click undo just to get it back to where it was and show you a different way to do it. I can also go to edit and trim. This pulls up my trim bar and I get these bigger, thicker bars on either side and I can just drag that over and look at the playhead up top for the timing and hit it at about 30 seconds. So use these, um, use the trim if you're just going to trim off some from the beginning and some from the end. Use the clip if you're going to be breaking it up into several different pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my trim here and then it's telling me that what I'm going to have left is in the yellow and then hit trim. Now I've got a 30 second video that I can save and use in my project. And I just hit done and there's my new video at 32 seconds. So again, on a Mac, use QuickTime Player for videos that you've maybe created and you want to just trim them up real quick. Or if you've downloaded something using um, some YouTube download tools, which are free on the internet, um, then you can clip them up from here. Oftentimes we don't want to use the entire length of the video we've gotten from YouTube and also be aware of copyright laws and infringement when you're doing that. Make sure you're using free open source videos and also that you're only using less than 20% of that video for your lessons or your projects. Thanks for watching.